Hello my friends. I recently purchased a new piece of electronic equipment and it came with a user manual and the manual is about 450 pages. The print is very small and instead of black and white it's kind of like a light gray and white and even with my reading glasses on I'm straining to see the print. So what I did was I downloaded the manual and printed it with my laser printer. So now I have eight and a half by eleven sheets and here's about almost a whole ream of paper printed and I can see this. And once I printed it I was afraid I was going to drop the stack and have to do some reshuffling. So what I did was I bound it into a book. This is a quick, easy uh, method to produce a manual or a book. And I'll show you how I went about doing this. I made this clamping jig. This is to hold the ream of paper together. And what I have here is 428 pages. Just about an entire ream of paper. Okay, now we want to make sure that we glue the proper side. That's this side. I'm going to cover it with cardstock. We have to make sure that the paper is even. So you want to work the paper after it's been printed. Okay, verify the side that you're going to glue, which will be this side. That side goes out. We place it into our clamping jig. And I made this tall enough that it will hold an entire ream. If you uh, aren't gluing up a mass like this, you can use spring clips, binder clips. Now I intentionally made this shorter than the height of the paper and the reason for that is to be able to tilt the paper to flex it like this and flex it both directions and that's to aid in the gluing. Now most books are made by folding a paper and then you have a, a back. That back on that fold makes for a good glue joint. Here we're gluing to the edges of each sheet and to make a stronger joint by bending it like this it will allow you to put a little bit of the glue on the sides of each sheet and that should allow a better glue joint. And now I'm going to use a glue similar to Type Bond 3. I'm using this Gorilla Glue. Okay, now we flex it. And we do both directions. Once you have the glue on there, now we want to clamp this. 
So I have two boards and I put packaging tape so that the glue won't stick to the wood. Now we leave it dry. Okay, I let it set overnight. Okay, now what I want to do is strengthen the spine of the book and I purchased this extra wide duct tape and it's an inch and an eighth over. So I'm going to mark this at nine sixteenths. Reference line. Okay, to that reference line. You hear that? We have a book. This one will be readable. Um, if you don't want to build a clamp to clamp this up, you can use the paper binder spring clamps. And if it's a smaller uh, dimension, then you're going to do a larger one. I would recommend throwing together some sort of a clamping mechanism to hold this together. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, my friends. Bye-bye.